What's going on fam, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to throw assets in the air and then make them fall. It's a pretty cool technique that I used in one of my reels, here you can see it. And without further ado, let me just show you how to do it. So I already prepared some assets, I got two thumbnails and a video. So for this I kind of need to match the size of them. Then what we're gonna do is pre-compose each of them, make sure to move all attributes into the new comp, we're gonna rename it to 1, and then we're gonna do the same with the second one. This time it's gonna be 2. As I'm looking at this I feel like we need to scale it down a little bit just like that and we're gonna go into each of them and we're gonna use the rounded rectangle tool so now make sure that your asset is selected and we're just gonna do it like that yeah i think we're good with this let's go back we're gonna go here and do pretty much the same so select the layer use the rounded rectangle tool and do it like that now let's go back it's really looking nice in the video whenever you got rounded corners okay maybe a little bit of scale would be a good idea so now we kind of want to find the perfect position for them when they are in the air so i think this one is gonna be here and then the other one somewhere there gonna bump up the scale a little bit and then what we're gonna do is hit w on the keyboard and then you can rotate so i'm gonna rotate the assets like that and then we're just gonna drag them somewhere here then we want to select both layers hit p now hold shift click r and we're gonna create keyframes now let's move these keyframes forward and now we're gonna drag the layers downwards and we want to have them somewhere in the middle like that and then do the same for the other one okay so that's what we have and now what we need to do is rotate them outwards i'm gonna do it separately so for example this one is gonna go like that and then the other one it's gonna go like that now let's select both keyframes and drag them to the very beginning okay so that's what we have and now we're gonna add some spice by adding the graph so we're gonna select them all easy ease go to the graph editor and now we want to select all the last keyframes and drag the yellow dot to the left okay pretty cool but it's extremely slow so we're gonna go back and squeeze it in okay better i'll probably go back and i'll select these keyframes and drag them to the left And now the thing is that it would look horrible if we tried to bring them back like that because they're gonna have a rough stab in the middle. So for this we need to overlap the keyframes like in 3D editing. So right above that layer we're gonna create a new null object and we're gonna rename it to controller of number 2. Then we can hit ctrl D, put it above and change the name to controller of 1. And now before we proceed to parenting the layers we're gonna select one null object and then we're gonna grab that point and put it somewhere here. We kind of want to have it in the middle and then i'm gonna go here and do the same but for the first one and now what we need to do is parent number two to number two and the same for number one now select both null objects hit alt shift p to create a keyframe for position and also alt shift r we're gonna move forward and we're gonna actually hit you for every layer and now we kind of want to overlap the keyframes so now we're gonna go to the controller of number two and we're gonna set rotation to a negative number like that and we're gonna drag that layer with y position downwards but we kind of want to go outwards with this right now so somewhere here so let's see and we can do the same for the number two but this time we're gonna change it to a positive number drag it downwards and with x position more towards the right even more so that's what we have so far and we're gonna right click keyframe assistant easy ease go to the graph editor and what we need to do is basically squeeze in the pig. So we're just gonna create a mid graph. That might be too intense. Okay, starts to look pretty cool, but we need to find a sweet spot. So the first thing I would do is probably go to position keyframes in each of the layers and just drag it lower like that and do the same for the opposite one. Okay, better. I'll probably extend the keyframes a little bit and then grab all of these and drag them more towards the left. All right, the movement starts to look pretty realistic, which is cool. You got enough time to see what's on the screen. And the thing I would do for the number one is adding drop shadow to basically separate these two layers. So if I bump up the value for opacity, change the distance to zero, increase softness, we got that nice separation before after it's kind of giving you that 3d feel which is awesome also the most important thing is adding motion blur and right now it should look perfect yeah that's dope so the thing is that you can start playing around with this so for example let's say we're gonna offset this one that's also gonna look pretty cool yep as for my personal preference i'll probably make it a bit faster so now we can basically select them all pre-compose hit ok Let's just grab the shape from Motion Essence, put it on top, and let's see. That's really sick. 
absolutely love this. So that will be it for this tutorial, hopefully that was helpful, it's an extremely small way to portray what you got on the screen. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers guys!